Today is the start of a new series and we want to do a series about other artists and the things that they do that are a little bit interesting in songwriting to try and inspire you into writing more interesting songs. And today we're going to talk about a song by Charlie Bliss called Westermark. So in the genre of music, the majority of artists will use 4-4 four -four and 4-bar four phrasing. That's pretty standard. That's pretty standard across the entirety of the music industry. Yes, there are some artists in like math rock and stuff that will use 7-A and 13-12 uh, or whatever. We know they exist. Please don't comment being like, yeah, well, these artists use this. We know. The standard thing, if you're going to break the norm, would be to not use 4-4. It would be to use like 5-4 or 3-4 or 7-8. But generally, even artists that do use those weird time signatures still use 4-bar phrasing. This song doesn't. And that's a little bit interesting and I want to show you. So this is what the song sounds like. It's in 3-bar phrasing. <laughs> So it's a little bit odd, it sounds like when it goes into that fourth bar that it's actually going to finish off the melody, but it isn't, it keeps going because it's actually the start of the second phrase as opposed to the end of the first. Now this is a clever way of writing a melody and making it work in a six bar phrase instead of an eight bar phrase and it does kind of throw you off when it goes into the chorus because it feels like it's coming in early when I guess it is because you're used to an eight bar phrase, but it's perfectly fine, it works perfectly with the melody. So when it comes around a second time, they don't do the same thing. Instead of doing a six bar phrase, they now do a nine bar phrase. They're still sticking with threes, but they're just adding an extra one on and making a completely different melody. Now this works even better because it now acts as like a little pre-chorus. You, you are now used to the three bar phrasing of everything. So you're used to the three and then the six and then, oh, a chorus. Oh no, it's not a chorus anymore. There's now something else here. That now works with it being an extra three bars. So they're now doing kind of like a, a six bar verse and a three bar pre-chorus. This is what that sounds like. So the takeaway from this isn't to directly just rip off what these guys are doing, but to actually think about how you're writing songs a little bit differently to how you would consider to normally write songs differently, if that makes sense. So rather than go, oh, we normally write in 4-4, let's write in 5-4, or let's write in 7-8, why not change the phrasing so you can keep the normal feel of 4-4 so that it feels more like a popular song, so that you're not alienating the general audience by doing weird time signatures that a lot of people tr struggle getting their heads around, you're writing in a perfectly normal time signature, you're writing in 4-4, everyone's used to 4-4, but the weird thing that you're doing is coming into a chorus early because you're actually using 3-bar phrasing instead of 4-bar phrasing, or you're kind of leading the chorus late a little bit by using 5-bar phrasing, or doing something interesting and weird, and I hope this has helped to inspire you a little bit into what you can do with phrasing as opposed to just using normal four bar phrasing and messing about with the other elements of songwriting. You can actually mess about with your phrasing and do totally bizarre things. You can write little sections that are one bar phrase. You can do it in two bar phrasing so that you end up doing six bars. Like Charlie Bliss has done with three bar and three bar, you could do two bar, two bar and two bar and make sure that the melody kind of lines up with that. There's lots of things that you can do to throw an audience off to make an audience notice to be like, oh, that was weird. Why, why did that happen? Oh, it sounds like the chorus is coming early. Oh, why isn't the chorus coming yet? Oh, that's a little bit of a weird melody going on there because it's in a five bar phrasing. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this and the general audience won't even know that you're using three bar phrasing. They're not gonna be like, oh, there's three bar phrasing being used there. But it makes an interesting feel, especially to your melodies and your chord progressions. You can make it feel a bit more fresh because most people don't use odd phrasings. So use odd phrasings. Cool. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, oddly enough, today is actually the anniversary, the one year anniversary of Charlie Bliss's album that this song is from came out. What a coincidence. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to check out more videos from this series, so over here, this is the first video in the series. So if there are more videos, then you are. So today when this video comes out, there are not more videos in this series. And our best off playlist is over there. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next week.